Welcome back to another week of campground reviews. Um, we took last weekend off to do some work around the house and we had some stuff scheduled uh, with family. So we were excited to be back out this weekend. Went to uh, Pine Cradle Campground and it's in North Rome or Ulster. I think it's right on the border of both townships, if you will. So, awesome weekend. Yeah, it was good. Seriously, the best campground we've stayed at this year. Uh, yeah. 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 Um, so, talk to them about how we got in, in the road okay, yeah. that you take to get to the campground. The last couple miles to get to the campground are north central Pennsylvania backcountry roads. Um, we never really found a good um, way in as far as um, they were really dusty back roads. One way had potholes, one way was like a 12% um, grade uh, and it was gravel so you, I don't know if you'd want to go in and out that way but uh, the best way that we found was from Ulster. Um, you're gonna go across the bridge and just um, they're, they're back roads but the, I don't know, there's no great way. The last five miles are country roads, so um, you just have to bear with it. Do not wax your truck and camper and rig and think you're gonna look awesome when you get there like I did, because you're not. So, but once you get there, it's gonna be great. Um, honestly, this video is not, usually we go and do some trails or some local stuff. We just camped, we just fished. We just hung out, we went to, there's a pool there. So like, basically this video is gonna be a review of the campground because we just had so much fun, we just camped and enjoyed it. Yeah. So, let's discuss their camp sites. The, the sites are huge, and I don't think there is a bad site there. No. Um, it's just preference and where you want to be, whether you want to be right on the lake. Um, if, if so, I would definitely book early early yeah. in advance uh, to get a lakeside site. Um, they have wooded areas, and then they have areas that are out kind of in the open field yep. uh, where there's more sun. Yep. Um, but all the sites were huge, had a big grass area for, you know, each site had plenty of space. Yep. And they were all easy to pull into. Yeah. A lot of pull through sites yeah. there. Yep. All right, some amenities that they had there. They had a lot going on at this campground. Um, I probably their number one attraction would be their heated pool. They have a heated pool there with a splash pad, um, which was fun for the kids. The only thing that we thought was that the pool. Um, was such a commodity that it could actually be a little, a little bit, bit bigger. bigger. Yeah. Yep. Or add an additional pool in. Yep. But that's a huge expense. <laughs> but it was, sure. <laughs> it was a popular weekend. It was Father's Day weekend. Happy Father's Day to everyone. Mm -hmm. um, it was, uh, there was, the campground was full. It was hot. The pool was busy. Yeah. Um, they have four playgrounds uh, that are very nice playgrounds distributed evenly throughout the campground. This campground is a bigger campground and for each section that they had, they had their own little playground for the kids to play on. Facilities too. Really you could almost break this up into two campgrounds. Mm -hmm. East side and west side of the lake. Because like she said, the east side had their own washrooms, had their own bathrooms, had yeah. their own playgrounds and then the other side, you know, had, had all their, it was very evenly distributed with, you know, amusement for the kids and, yeah. and bathrooms and stuff, so. They have an 18 acre pond. It's more of like a small lake. Um, and they have a lot of fish in that lake. Um, and big fish. Yeah. They were catching them the entire weekend. So if you guys have ever been to a campground that claims they have a pond, um, I know that I have always just not taking my fishing stuff because campground ponds get overfished and uh, maybe they don't have the right environment or size lake for them to grow. But Hagen was pulling like four, five, six pound bass out all weekend. Mm -hmm. 
I mean, I was shocked to see. Obviously, it's catch and release, but being an 18-acre pond, they have the the room to get big, and there was a ton of them. So yeah, Hagen had a blast. Yep. Um, let's see. Where do you want to go next? They have a uh, game room, like an arcade, bocce ball, and like a rec room. They have horseshoes there. A uh, ball field, like a kickball field, or a vol in a volleyball field, uh, net there. <laughs> so yeah, there's baseball fields, volleyball net. Um, like you said, there's horseshoes. There's yep. a big, just a lot of room to do whatever. Yep, they I mean, have a bocce ball and a game room, and they have a pretty nice uh, sized dog park. Yep. Uh, so if you your dogs need to get off the leash for a little bit and run around. They had a really nice dog park there for them. They have a gaga pit. Yeah. Like, I don't even know what, what uh. it doesn't seem fun to me, but they have one. They have uh, boat and kayak rentals there. Um, you can get rent them for $10 an hour or $35 a day. The boats were kind of cool, though. I've never seen paddle boats that are, instead of being like sunk down in, they're like pontoon boats. Yeah. So they're actually kind of neat. They also have golf cart rentals there. They charged $100 for a weekend um, or $40 a day on the weekdays. Um, it is a bigger campground and it's spread out quite a bit. So it may be something you want to budget in uh, with your trip there. Yep, if you handy. don't have one. Um, what else? Uh, they had the paddle boards too. Oh yeah, you could rent a paddle board. Yep. That's the same pricing as the uh, kayak and boat rentals. Yep. Uh, another thing, they have a, like a small chapel there. They do weddings. Mm -hmm. um, so up near the office, um, they, they have a place to, for the actual wedding and then there's a reception hall. Yeah, and I will say we went in there and it's right behind the pool, but it they made Tucked it, it very there. private. Yep. So I, it would be a good place to consider yep. for a wedding, I think. Yep. So the, this weekend when we were there, it's Father's Day. So they had Father's Day themed activities. Some of the activities that they they did was um, there was a three hour fishing derby on Saturday. Mm -hmm. Longest fish wins a prize. We ended up catching a couple fish that we got measured. Uh, came in a little bit short, but had fun doing that. Yeah, and, and then, then they had a um, Father's Day kickball tournament with uh, the kids versus the dads, and that was everyone was a good sports, and um, I think it was fun for the kids and for the parents. Yeah, for the dads. And then Sunday they did donuts with dad. Yep, donuts with dad. So that was pretty neat. Every week they have a new theme or activities that they do in. We'll list their website and you can go in. They have them all listed on their website. Um, we One thing I'd like to mention there is no, wi no Wi-Fi or no cell service yes. there. Yep. No cell service. You, they do have Wi-Fi available, but you do have to pay for that. Um, I wrote the prices down here. If you, for two days... Um, 48 hours, you'd be looking at $8 to pay for their Wi-Fi, but you ha they have it up to where you can purchase it for seven days a at week. a time, and that would be $20 for the entire week. Yep. And that is, um, her parents went with us again this weekend, and they got the Wi-Fi, and it was perfect. Yep. Good service. And we did not, we just, nobody, we didn't have to work, no on calls, so we just didn't. And, um... Uh, yeah, you can. De it definitely worked well. Yeah. The staff there were very friendly. There were a bunch of like younger yeah. kids working there, but they were all helpful and all looking to have a good time. And they were all very nice. So yeah, they were super helpful. Um, today, when we were packing up, uh, and some of the other people had already pulled out, there was a group of people going around and, and cleaning fire pits out, getting ready mm -hmm. for the next people to pull in. And then I was actually on top of the roof, sweeping the slide outs off and, and, and the awning um, where some pine needles had fell. And one of the guys stopped by and let me use a leaf blower. So he handed me up a leaf blower. So yeah, they were very helpful. Yeah. Um, also, 
also something to mention they do run tabs there i don't know if that's a good thing yeah. or a bad thing don't tell your kids <laughs> but they they will open a tab for you if you're staying for a long weekend or an extended period of time they'll open a tab so when you need something at the store or you want to get ice cream there or souvenirs ice wood whatever they'll open a tab at the beginning of your stay and then you just cash out before you leave so that's one thing that we didn't really hit on yet. Um, the store, you can get anything you need there, firewood, ice, um, completely stocked. If you, I think we had to buy fish hooks there at one point, but uh, basically a pretty well-stocked grocery store. Mm -hmm. So It was a good time. Yeah, very good time. We liked this one a lot. It was very clean. The spots were huge. It, there were a lot of people there, but... It was still peaceful and quiet, and I think it's just because the spaces were so big. Yeah, yeah, really, they didn't pack them together, which makes it so nice. You're not, you know, sitting out by your fire and, you know, you're four feet from somebody else's slide out. You actually have room in between, so it was very nice. The kids didn't want to leave. Right. The, Charlotte loved the pool and the splash pad. I think you could easily make this a week-long yes. trip there, and you wouldn't run out of things to do. Absolutely. So we kind of judge our stays and almost our ratings by, is it a two-day for the kids? Is it a full seven-day? Could we go there for a full week and the kids not drive us crazy? And this one, you could. It has it all. <laughs> the, the, the pond for fishing, the boats, the kayaks, mm -hmm. nearby... Um, you know, with, you got the pool and you got the splash pad. Um, nearby, you have the Susquehanna River. You can take kayaks or go fishing on that. You have a couple golf courses nearby. Winery. Yeah, you have a winery just over the hill, which we didn't make it to. But um, yeah, it's a full week, mm -hmm. no doubt, for sure. You're going to pay. It, it's a little bit pricey, but it, it's, it's well maintained. That. It's worth it. I, I think it's a high end. It's a it's a really good place. Yeah, I th so if you stay three nights or more, you get a discount right. rate. Just like if you were to stay there for seven nights. I think for three nights we paid $53 a night, maybe. And then if you if you stay for less than that, I think it's $55 yeah. a night. Um, but again, if you want one of those lakeside sites, book early because they go fast. And we had um, 30 or 50 amp. Uh, pedestal. We had water with good pressure. We had two different uh, septic spots. You know, a lot of people have the outside kitchens where you have your separate tank in the back. So it was laid out really nice. You had everything you needed there. Okay, so one thing to note when you check in, um, from that point on, you need an access ca um, card. Oh, yes. This is a gated campground. Yeah. So you can get in as far as the office to check in, and you get a security card um, to go any further. Yeah, so, it is gated. So yep. if you want visitors, you can. Yep, I think it's $10 a day. So if you want visitors, you can. It's $5 a day or $10 if those visitors plan on staying over the, overnight with you. Mm. Yep. Okay. After you go by the baseball field, um, it's gonna the road's gonna split uh, into three sections, uh, but your lower section will, is your lakeside. Those are really nice. They have uh, most of those have decks, yeah. um, so you can back in and you have your own deck, and then you can see the lake. And then farther down you go, um, it's gonna open up into more of a field. Mm -hmm. And those are, you know, your yard goes right to the lake. It's a big yard. Yep. And some of those spots have docks on the lake. Yes. Yep. So some of those have docks on the lake too. Yep. Um, and if you keep going down a little bit farther, right at the end of what we're calling this west side, you're going to have another bathroom, and that's probably only 300 yards from the first one. Yeah. So everything's real close. You have a playground right there, um, and then there's a cabin right on the corner. So you'll be um, within 50 yards of the lake with that. Uh, then there's kind of a secluded top loop. Um, if you go up in that area, it, that's more open. It's not wooded at all. Mm -hmm. That's where your dog park will be. There's another playground and then some more cabins up there. Uh, it's a pretty neat area. And let's make note, those cabins are very nice. Yes. Very, very nice cabins with nice decks right on the water. Yep. Some of them. Yep. Um, 
so that's pretty much that's the side that we were on um, site 205 beautiful site a lot of room we had shade um, real nice setup um, okay so if you go back over and go to the east side um, there's quite a bit of seasonals on this side so you walk you, you got another gate over there and you walk down through I think there's a, a cabin up on your left and then um, another playground and another wash house laundry room bathroom um, keep going down and then they saved the lake side for um, for the rentals so uh, those are available to um, to get by the week or by the night uh, you're right down on the water a um, couple more cabins down there those ones those three or four cabins on that end of the lake are right on the water and you have your own dock and I mean it's it's set up real nice yep so um, yeah that's uh, that's about it um, we'll sprinkle on a few uh, clips from our walk around yeah and um, we just had a good relaxing this, weekend yeah this is one of our favorite yeah campgrounds that we've been to yet this year yes yeah so uh, next week we will be mooch docking for the 4th of July uh, we'll be going over to her parents and then after that the next couple weeks get busy we're gonna be leaving the following Thursday Friday and Saturday to go uh, celebrate the 4th of July over uh, back at Crooked, Crooked Creek mm -hmm. we went there about a month ago probably and then leaving that Sunday through the next Saturday to go to um, Jellystone in North Java in North Java that's up near Buffalo New York so, uh, we're very excited yeah um, get up into New York some more that was beautiful last time yeah and we have some exciting news for next season yeah some fun places that we're gonna book yeah. for next season so we're yeah. excited keep watching we'll keep keep uh keep trucking keep on keeping on yeah. <laughs> We'll keep uh, we'll keep the camera rolling and uh, show you what we think of these campgrounds. I, I know it helps to get a little visual uh, before you start looking to book for next year. So yeah, and if there's any place in the Northeast that you want to see, yeah. we do have a few weekends open yet that we're still debating on where to book. Yep, or where to go. We're so. we're thinking maybe. Um, we'd like to do the Kinzu Bridge. The Kinzu Bridge. So yep. we're thinking about getting down that way. Or maybe Penn is that yep. to see Elk Country. Elk Country. We'll see. Penn's Cave. If you guys know where there's any good uh, campgrounds near there or anything you'd like us to check out, uh, just uh, leave us a comment. Uh, other than that, keep subscribing. We're almost at the uh, 100 subscriber mark. Yeah, so. if we can get 100 subscribers, we'll do a giveaway. Yeah, we will. <laughs> yes. Cool. We'll do a giveaway. So subscribe. <laughs> here, here, and here. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. What are we giving away? Koozie. <laughs> Who's making it? Oh.